Hello, dear friends. I have been looking at the analytics on YouTube uh, that shows the distribution of our viewership geographically and uh, country-wise. The most view, the, the people who view as most are the Americans. You can see how much they have viewed: one point three million uh, views in the last uh, thirty days. Then we have Brazil, Japan, Spain, Italy, Germany, Indonesia, United Kingdom, Russia. Russia is there. Oh, okay. Then we have Thailand. Thailand is number 10 in the world when it comes to you know, the viewership um, of our content. We have Poland and it goes down. It goes down, guys. And then um, in Africa, you have at number 20 is South Africa. Uh, South Africa here, it's number 20. And then you can see those countries. And then we have Nigeria, number 42. Uh, what is Nigeria? Nigeria, number 42. And then you have Algeria here. So Nigeria is number 42. Algeria is number 45 or thereabouts. So Africa has only three countries uh, that are watching us. And that is in, um, uh, South Africa, Nigeria, and Algeria. Okay. Then now we will look at the distribution city-wise. And this informs the decision to be visiting Bangkok in Thailand. I am intending to visit Bangkok. Um, it is uh, the it has the most supporters in in viewership. So there we are, Bangkok, Thailand. Then we have Sao Paulo. That is Brazil and Milan, Italy. Then you have Moscow, Russia, it's number four. Jakarta, Indonesia, Madrid, Spain. So it goes like that. And then um, you will see uh, New York was number eight, I think. Okay. Then Chicago was number 20. So in Africa, the only cities that we have watching our content are Lagos, that is Nigeria. Here is Lagos, and Lagos is number 33 out of the 50 uh, cities. It's number three, 33. And then you have down there, you have Pretoria, South Africa, which is um, number 45. Now, you will not see, of course, that's closed by Miami. Miami is number 50, USA. Okay, so you cannot see Kenya in 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 these countries. Kenya is not there, and that is where I am best. That's where Rise of Society is. That's where all these people we are helping for the last thirteen years. They are all Kenyans, most of them. Of course, in a few Ugandans, but mostly Kenyans. And uh, you don't see Kenya anywhere. And the big Kenyan cities like Nairobi, Mombasa, you don't see them anywhere here. And I'll explain why in a sec. And the reason why we don't have a lot of viewership from Kenya, this is the Kenyan flag, and this is the East African flag. And both of them, Kenya and East African countries, which is Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, now DRC, Southern Sudan, they are all eclipsed there we don't have viewership from these countries and especially kenya where i am from where i was born is because of the corruption uh, kenya is a very corrupt country and uh, the people are because of the corruption the leaders leaders have not uh, bothered to uh, really endeavor in the in the work of the poor there is a lot of indifference and there is that denial. People, the, the leaders deny that we have these issues that we see that are very, very disgusting going on. And they would want to put up an image of, uh, you know, prosperity and we're an African country that is 
you know, trying to alleviate poverty and to help the poor and all that, which is baloney, as we know, through experience, the experiences we get in the in the field. And so that corruption from the leadership, and generally the Kenyans are embarrassed to to see uh, that they have these issues going on and they do nothing about it. Kenya is 80% Christian, and as we know, these people don't help anybody. They we have neighbors with nice homes and right at the neighbors at the at their doorstep. Somebody is having jiggers and they cannot even help that person. So there is this embarrassment um, from from people who are hesitant to accept that uh, uh, part of the reasons that we have a lot of jiggers and all the suffering that we see is because people are not the brother's keeper. And because we, by going out, we address this. We smack in their faces that you are not helping the people. As you know, it should be the case if you are a Christian. And so that makes them to avoid our videos. And so uh, we have generally gotten very minimal support from the Kenyan population. Uh, we have a woman in Mombasa that supports us, and then we we had a lady in Nairobi bringing us, you know, used clothes, and that is just it. We have not received anything from the government offices, and the church has been very very elusive. We haven't had any church minister coming forward to partner with us in in you know, um, in sponsoring or supporting the work that we do. Uh, not to mention that the people that we help are, are church members uh, who have been mostly thrown out of the church because of the jigger. Something happened yesterday that really made me cry. You know, the guy called Erickson, we got him the room and then, you know, the person, the owner of the, the house, that room chased us away. <laughs> And he said, no, that, this man who has so many jiggers cannot dwell in my house. So we had to get a different house for the guy. It was very, very heartbreaking to see that. And so that informs you why we don't have a lot of viewership in the country. The denial, the corruption, the lack of you know adherence to the Christian principle that espouse love but Christians who don't practice that love, and I'm sorry to say that, you know, if love is the yardstick that will be used to reward people, to get people to heaven, we would be, we will be very surprised to find a lot of the people whom we feel will be in heaven, they will not even be there. If love is the yardstick, if love is what will be used to determine who gets to heaven, uh, should be surprised so uh, and I appreciate the world and the rise up is a, is a global um, you know ministry and the statistics that I've read you really proves what I what I mean we are international we are here in Kenya and Kenyans don't even watch us they don't even care that we exist and and Africans don't care that we exist and God has a way of balancing the equation. That is why we have the rest of the world coming on board and supporting the work that we have been doing. Guys, I'm, I'm humbled and um, going forward, I hope to maybe visit you to just show my appreciation to you for the support that you have been giving us. And uh, begin with the big, the biggest, the leading city, of course, the countries, U.S., but I'll go for the cities first. So I'm coming to Bangkok, Thailand, and uh, just want to see your country and to enjoy your culture and your food. If possible, meet a few people who have been watching our, our videos. So please inbox me if you are from Thailand, and let's plan out something. I'm ready to you know, spend some money to make something work, you know, just so that we can we can can ask questions, meet me, and just have some good time with me. So I'm coming Thailand.
I'm coming. I know your country is very beautiful and I'm coming. You are amazing people. Thank you so much. Thank you, Americans. Americans have always been the greatest. And I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for all the support.